Hey everyone, I'm Data Science J, and today we're going to talk about the data engineering interview, example questions and solutions, and then go over the eight different types of questions that might get asked for data engineers. We analyzed thousands of data engineering interview questions, and we saw that there's pretty common types between the two. So let's dive into it. Number one, the most common uh, interview question type is usually around behavioral interview questions. And behavioral interview questions get asked to basically every candidate. But for data engineers, they're going to be a little bit more specific towards data engineering and your previous projects. For example, one question would be like, tell me about a time that you saw an inefficiency in data processing and how did you solve it? Another question would be like, how would you work with a product manager to develop a new product? How would you consider the data pipeline side of it? For these questions, they're really assessing just how you can work with others cross-functionally and other data engineers on your team. So a lot of this is just talking about your experience, really going into details about your data engineering knowledge and making sure that you can communicate your projects and your experience well. Let's look at a question in greater detail. Let's say that the interviewer asks you to describe one of your data engineering projects that you worked on before. How would you answer it? So with this question and a lot of other behavioral interview questions, the easiest way to use is the STAR format. STAR stands for situation, task, action, and result. So describe the situation, what exactly happened with a data engineering project. Were you building a data pipeline? Were you designing a schema? Were you basically creating an events database? Then provide an overview of the actual task at hand. What was the problem that you're trying to solve and then how did you actually solve it? Then talk about the actions that you took. What did you actually do as part of that project? Did you actually design the schema yourself or did you work with another engineer to do so? And then lastly, tell the interviewer about the results. What did this actually help with? Did you improve the data pipeline and data accuracy by X percent? Did you improve the data quality and help increase the level of confidence in data to the executives. So stuff like that is really helpful when describing all your projects. STAR is pretty basic and you can read more about it below in the description. Number two, a second pretty common question we see is just general basic technical questions around data engineering. So these questions would be something like, what ETL tools do you use? What's your experience in using them? What's your experience with cloud technologies, Azure, Spark, other things like that. These questions are more so understanding your depth of experience using these tools because a lot of these companies might have specific workflows and they like to prioritize candidates that have used these tools before. So if you have experience in Airflow, then you do have an advantage. And then they're just kind of testing you really basic kind of requirements on like that you knew how to use Airflow and that you actually used it before versus kind of putting it on your resume because you read about it once. The rule of thumb for these questions is just don't put anything on your resume that you actually haven't directly had any experience with yourself. And then you could probably answer these questions pretty easily. The third most common type of question is SQL. And the SQL probably comes up 95% of the time. And it's probably the most common technical interview question that shows up for data engineers. SQL questions are basically core to any data engineering job. You need to know uh, the fundamentals for just joins, subqueries, case statements, and you probably will be asked pretty basic level SQL questions up to really hard SQL questions. Most SQL questions exist to weed out candidates that just don't have any experience. And so if you've been a data engineer before, this should be pretty easy. If you have it and you're a new grad looking to jump into data engineering, you can practice SQL questions on interview query and get really good at them. Here's some example questions. Given a user's table, write a query to return only its duplicate rows. We're given two tables. One is named projects and another maps employees to the projects that they're working on. Given the employees and departments table, write a query to get the top three highest employee salaries by department. You're given a table that represents search results from searches on Facebook. The query column is a search term. Position column represents each position the search result came in. And the rating column represents the human rating of the result from one to five, where five is high relevance and one is low relevance. Write a query to get the percentage of search queries where all the ratings from the query results are less than a rating of three. Okay, let's dive into one of these questions and go over the solution as well. But given three tables representing customer transactions and customer attributes, write a query to get the average order value by gender. So we can see from these tables that we actually have to join all three of them likely because of the fact that we need to get the average order value which is going to be a function of the product times the actual quantity times the price. So this is pretty simple. All we have to do is join users to transactions and then join that to products as well and then group by the sex of the user and then get the average quantity multiplied by the price. If you guys are looking for more resources for SQL interview questions, I've done a ton of videos of this in the past and you can find them in the description below. The fourth and fifth most common interview questions get asked for data engineers are on data structures and algorithms. Now, these are actually bucketed into two groups. One is more so data structures and algorithms that you could expect on questions like leak code. 
These are testing your ability with just being able to write coding and basically code as a software engineer. The second type is more so common to actual data manipulation using Python or pandas. And so this is basically taking data and manipulating in some way, maybe you're cleaning it, maybe you're processing it, but it's not as algorithm focused as the leak code type problems are. For example, you'd be doing something like using Python lists to iterate over date and time, basically munging different kinds of data types, converting ints to strings and strings back to ints, and then doing some data munging in pandas, basically creating uh, doing some feature selection, maybe merging two data sets, stuff like that. So example of more of the data munging Python type questions are write a function called find bigrams to take a string and return a list of all the bigrams. So here you're just doing a little bit of data munging. You're basically going through a really long string and creating bigrams. So basically kind of like feature selection that you'd expect in data science, but also shows up in data engineering as well. A question that's probably more common to leak code would be something like given a list of integers and an integer n, write a function called sum to n that finds all the combinations that sum up the value to n. So this is a pretty common leak code question. Basically, you return a list of integers that uh, sum up to this you know, n target variable that you also input in. Very common, data engineers are expected just to be able to code and code well. So this is gonna be a basically common part of any interview that you go to. All right, and so this actually segues really nicely into our sponsor of today's video, which is Interview Query. So Interview Query is a startup that I founded that basically helps you with your interview prep for any kind of data engineering interview that you have coming up. Primarily, we have tons of interview questions, courses, and challenge assessments, so you can see how you rank compared to your peers. Additionally, we also have an interactive code editor where you can run SQL and Python and basically view your test cases. And also you can see solutions from other community members as well. So check it out. We're actually giving away one free year of interview query premium access to anyone who comments on this video talking about their interview experiences as a data engineer or just any questions they have about the data engineering interview. Uh, we really appreciate your feedback and we really wanna make this product the best one that's possible and we can only do that with your help and contribution. Please leave a comment and like and subscribe as well. Back to the video. The fifth question type for data engineering interviews is around database design and data modeling. Database design and data modeling questions really test your knowledge of how you can normalize data, how you can create schema structures, and how you can answer questions about how you design a schema for a specific business practical application. So for example, one question would be something like, let's say that you have to design a table structure to track which cars cross the Golden Gate Bridge and how long it takes for them to cross. So for this question, we'd have to design a table called crossings that would basically model every single car and the time that it took to cross the bridge. And then a second table called car models that actually describe what the cars were that actually crossed the bridge as well. Typically for a lot of these questions, they also ask you about a hypothetical scenario and how you could write a SQL query to then the schema that you just designed. So these questions are a little bit more difficult than your normal SQL question because you're actually the one creating the table. So if you don't do a good job of creating the table schemas for a SQL database, then you're gonna struggle with actually querying your own table at the same time. Some tips to solving these questions is generally to use a framework of understanding exactly how you wanna model the relationships for any kind of business application. So if we dive into a second example, let's say that we need to create the table schema for a Tinder style swiping app. So initially, what I will always try to do is first to think about how the actual app works. As we know for Tinder, you have users, you have swipes, and then you have matches. And so once you have these different entities, it gets a lot easier to think about how the relationships work and what's the best and most uh, normalized way to store all this data. You also have to think about scale as a second thing. That really influences exactly what kind of uh, schema you're building, if it's gonna be denormalized or normalized as well. The seventh interview question type that comes up a lot is around data pipeline and ETL questions. These questions are common in both data engineering and actually business intelligence roles as well because they involve how you would design data pipelines and data systems to either populate dashboards or also production databases and analytic databases as well. As we know, ETL stands for extraction and data processing, transformation and data cleaning, and loading and data warehousing. These questions are gonna be a little bit more system design heavy, and they can go really, really technical depending on your experience level. And so if you're interviewing for a more junior role, they might just ask you exactly how an ETL works, what an ETL process would look like. And for those, you kind of just have to understand some common configurations like how Airtable works, maybe even cron. But if you're 
interviewing for more of a senior data engineering role, then you have to really get into the weeds of how you would scale out a system for data at a company like Uber or even Facebook at that point, where there's gonna be thousands and thousands of data points that hit your application every second, in which you have to solve for a database intensive system design. So starting out with the easy questions, they might be something like, what's the difference between an ETL and an ELT? Another one might be, you have two ETL jobs that feed concurrently into a, the same database every single day. What could be some problems that arise from that? For example, an ETL SQL question could be something like, we have a table called song plays that tracks each time a user plays a song. Let's say we want to create an aggregation table called lifetime plays that records the song count by date for each user. Write a SQL query that can perform this ETL each day. The last question type that shows up for data engineering interviews is the data engineering case study question. So the case study question is pretty broad because it can go over a wide variety of topics from data engineering system design that we just covered to data engineering modeling as well. A lot of these questions focus on data architecture and require you to walk through an end-to-end -end solution of how you would build an app and the database design and schema behind it as well as then different kinds of scenarios that might come up from the design that you're using. One example could be like, let's say that you have to design a notification system for Reddit. What would the backend look like and how would you scale the notifications? Another one could be something like, what data optimizations might you consider for a Tinder style app? Lastly, let's say that you're analyzing insurance data and find that the marriage attribute column is marked true for all customers. How would you debug what happened? So one tip to help out with these case study questions is that we have to approach a framework that we use for almost any kind of case study question, regardless of what the subject is about. And which first, we're always clarifying the question and we're understanding the context of what happened. For this insurance data question, we could first figure out, you know, how far does this bug extend across all of the systems? Is it only in one table or is it across in other data warehouses as well? Another one could be understanding exactly how the table schema looks like. We know that there's a marriage attribute column, but what are the other columns in this data set as well? Are there also data quality issues in those columns as well? Is there a data quality issue issues across downstream? What are the ETL pipelines that feed into this database? So when approaching these case study questions, remember to always clarify first, gather some data, and then jump into a conversation with your interviewer where you're bringing up the top three best points and kind of ideas that you have and structure your analysis around that. Awesome. So that's generally it for data engineering questions. If you'd like to look at more, please check out the blog link that we've linked in the description below. A few quick tips before we finish. One, definitely focus a lot on SQL and algorithms slash leak code problems. Uh, you can practice these on, these on interview query. You definitely have to do well on these interview questions to be able to pass the interview. Second is to make sure that you align your interview prep to the job description. So just make sure that when you're doing your interview prep, that you understand exactly what seniority you're interviewing for so that you don't get caught off guard with a really tough problem, or maybe you're over prepping because the role that you're interviewing for is actually pretty easy and like an entry level data engineering role. Lastly, it's really helpful to try some mock interviews. Always recommend doing mock interviews because they help with being able to actually talk through a problem while you're thinking about it. And so you can check out a few of our mock interview videos below about database design for an Uber app with Jitesh and also some other SQL interview questions as well. Thanks for watching everyone. Again, Again, make sure to like and subscribe, comment below for the free year of interview query contest. And again, I'll see you guys later. Bye.